So I haven't done a um, talking video in a little while. Um, I'm trying to record this so that people in the other room don't wake up. But um, this is going to be a summer makeup essentials video. I'm a person who will do the exact same thing with my makeup as far as summer goes sometimes, but you know, sometimes you like to change it up a little bit. Um, for example, this is my summer makeup tutorial that will probably be up before this video is, so I will link that. But first we're going to start out with face products. So the first thing is a good powder. Um, this is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is my favorite one, as you can tell. And um, I just like this one because it's got reasonable coverage if you don't feel like wearing normal foundation. But it also helps keep shine at bay if you just want to use it for touch-ups and things like that. And this is in the shade Buff Beige. The next thing you need is some sort of bronzer. Um, this is the NYX Sun Kissed palette, which will probably be making its way into a favorites video sometime soon. Um, it has like the two bronzy stripes um, highlights, and then I'm not actually sure what that part's for. There's like a peachy color and then a lighter bronzy thing, so highlighter for a darker skin tone maybe. I just use this to contour my nose usually. But yeah, the NYX Sun Kiss palette, I believe it's relatively new, and this is one of those bronzers that like, it's matte, but it actually gives you more of a like warmer look to your skin, so that's sweet. Um, the next thing is some sort of highlighter. This is another one that will probably be a favorite soon. This is my Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter. Um, I believe it's called Rosé Champagne Glow, and it's a shimmer palette, and it's from her new collection, the Center Stage one. Um, this is just a really pretty highlighter in general. You can't see it very well because my hands shake, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just like a pinky glow sort of thing. I have it on my face as well and I think it works really well for the summertime. The next thing is some sort of like summery colored cream blush. Um, this is a sample of Benefit's Posy Tint. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, it just comes with an applicator like this. I'm also wearing this on my cheeks right now and it's like a liquidy form and it just kind of blends out to create like a natural looking glow which I like. The next thing, I'm sorry, this is kind of dirty, is some sort of BB cream. This is a sample of Tarte's BB Primer, which I prefer as just a normal BB cream, um, in the color light. Fun fact, if you, this is a half ounce for $10, so if you buy the full size one, it is one ounce for like $34, I believe, and um, so if you buy two of these, this is $20 and you'll get a full ounce, so I just bought three of them for basically less than the price of the full size one and got more product. But anyway, um, BB creams are nice for um, the summertime because they're light, they're usually like not spot on with your skin tone, if that makes sense, like they can be sheared out, but if you get tanner you can put more on, stuff like that. I like this one because it's got really buildable coverage, so yeah, go for that. The next thing will be eyebrow products. If you're into brow products, don't feel obligated if you're not. This is the Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate, and this is the one I use, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this because it's waterproof, and it kind of just sets your brows in place and whatever. Um, yeah, I can literally just start rubbing at my eyebrow and nothing's going to happen to it. If you are not into dip brow, however, and let's say you're more of a powder type gal, that's okay. They also have their eyebrow gel. Um, this is the clear one, and it sets pretty much any sort of eyebrow product you have in place very well. Next thing is some sort of bright nail polish. Um, this is Nail Teeny in Mai Tai. I got this in my July Ipsy bag last year. I don't think I've ever used it, honestly, but I think this would be a really fun color for summer if I didn't have gelish on. And, um, yeah, it's just like a nice bright orangey sort of color, and I really like it. The next thing is, let's move on to eye products. This is the Urban Decay Ink for Eyes eyeliner. Um, I like this because it is extremely waterproof to the point where you can't get it off sometimes. And it comes in like, sorry, comes in a really nice pen applicator. And this is just perfect for drawing like cat eyes and things like that. Um extremely waterproof. You could probably go swimming with this on and it still wouldn't come off, which is 
summary and also you could not sweat this off if you tried so definitely check this out next thing is some sort of bright colored eye palette um, this is the Wet n Wild palette in Poster Child and I believe this is supposed to be 80s themed or something like that I'm wearing the teal eyelid shade on my waterline at the moment it kind of came off a little bit but, um, yeah just bright colors are really fun in the summer and you can sort of jazz up your eye look with them and uh, again you can use any of these on your waterline as like a colored eyeliner sort of thing and this is usually five bucks wherever you get it from so hello next thing is some people won't consider this a beauty product this is sunscreen I believe this is the one that survived warped 2013 with me. Um, yeah, this is just like a fragrance free, hypoallergenic sort of one. I don't know. I like this specific one. Copper tone is usually a good sunscreen for me, but it is so important to wear sunscreen in the summer. I don't want to sound like an old lady, but like it will do all sorts of benefits for your skin. No one wants to be a leather bag at the end of their old age because they never wore sunscreen when they were young. Sunscreen keeps you pretty. Wear it. This thing is not really a beauty product, but some sort of cute pair of sunglasses. This should not be, even be questionable. Just do it. These are from Forever 21. They were like $5. I wear them everywhere. And the last thing I'll go into, I didn't want to mess up my hands with swatches, are lip products. So there are various kinds of shades that are really good for summertime. This is the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Anarchy. And I'll just swatch that on my hand for you. These are kind of like a satin finish, I'd say. This is a very nice hot fuchsia color, and I really like it. And um, fuchsia is like a perfect middle color that pretty much looks good on everyone, and you'll be able to find a fuchsia for yourself, but this is my personal favorite one. The next one is Revlon Ravish Me Red. Oh, um, if you get the American Horror Story Asylum reference of why I bought this, then you're my new friend. This is like an orangey sort of red, and this is in a cream finish. It's that second one on the bottom there. And again, it's really summery. It's more straight up orange than it is red, honestly. But um, yeah, I really like that one, and it's really summery. If the lipstick was too much for you, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Sugar Cookie. Oh, okay, I started reading the French translation by accident. Um, Again, just a nice fuchsia-y color, but without all the like punch of the Urban Decay one, as you can see, and it's really nice. The last one is the one I have on my lips right now, but I'll do it anyway. It is MAC Flamingo, and I think this is the absolute perfect color for summer, hands down, altogether. Um, it's a luster, so it's very light and buildable, but it's like a light coral, and it pretty much works with anyone and it works with how your lips are colored to make a really nice color. I said color a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is definitely great for the summertime. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was everything you needed. <laughs> um, please like, comment, or subscribe if you liked it so I know what to keep recording and thank you. Bye!